Taurus. Hello, beautiful Taurus. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, we about to tap in and see what these uh, energies are for you, Taurus. Okay. It's September. Happy September. Okay. Happy Hermit season. Happy birthday, Virgos. All right. What is the energy for September? <sighs> Looking like for my Taurus. What is the energy of September looking like for my Taurus? Guys, don't forget to like the video. Subscribe. I'm seeing the number seven. Okay. What's the energy of September for Taurus? All right. We have decision, excitement, and vision. Okay. We also have three, three, three. Wow. So we have three, three, and 12, which breaks down to a three. But it's a two and a one. So the energy of September, okay. It seems like you're doing a lot of planning, okay? It's like you're, it's like you have a a board out or you're mapping out a plan for the rest of the year or something that you want to get done with this chessboard decisions okay mars and gemini we also have mercury and gemini excitement it's like i'm getting like a rumbling in your tummy like i feel like somebody is very excited with this energy but they haven't came out the gate yet like i don't feel like you've really come out yet you're just getting the vision together This September, so you're really mapping out the. You're really um solidifying. I'm hearing spirit is solidifying the vision for you. It's like you are. Oh, I can feel it. I can't even say it. I can feel it though. That's so frustrating. It's like you can just close. Okay, so you may be manifesting more or not manifesting, meditating. It's like you are meditating on this feeling. Oh my god, it feels so good, and um. I'm hearing your cup overflows. So whatever you manifest or meditate on this season of September, I'm getting is going to start overflowing. Your cup is going to start overflowing. Blessings is going to start coming in or exactly what you have been praying for is going to start coming in. What's the energy for Taurus this September? Energy for my beautiful Taurus this September 2023. What's coming in for Taurus? The Three of Cups. Wow, really? Okay. <laughs> so, like I said, I feel like um, this could be actual celebrations that you're going through but something is very exciting i'm getting though this is your spirit team like i said i feel like people are very excited i'm getting this very excited energy three of cups okay first card out king of cups fell out we're gonna put him back what's the energy for taurus three of wands y'all nah for real three 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 Interesting. Three is the number of creation from two. One more is given. A new is created. Yeah. You're creating something. You are definitely manifesting. But it's like still in the womb or, okay. <laughs> Page of Wands. Look at all this excitement. You're about to be so full of, um, what is the word? You are inspired. Inspiration is the word here. So September, you're feeling very inspired. The Two of Wands. 
you're able to look back on the plan or look back on your inspiration and really figure out which way to move forward. I'm seeing a lot of vision. You could be doing um, Pinterest boards or, you know, vision boards. Like you're creating this idea. I don't know. Um, but look at how this person is looking. It's like. First, you're moving this way, but then you look back. Let's keep going. Wow, another three. The Empress. Some of you guys could be finding out you're pregnant. Okay. Um, with the Three of Cups and the Empress. I'm just saying, just saying. Taurus for September. 2023, the Ace of Swords. <laughs> I just heard somebody say, say it ain't so. Say it ain't so. You're becoming very clear though about your power of manifesting or your power or your mind. Or you're getting this bright idea. Ten of Swords. Wow. Why the Ten of Swords? The Ace of Cups. So I'm hearing back to the drawing board, okay? You may have to keep creating something or you keep going. That's what I keep saying. You keep going backwards. It's like you get so excited and then like you just keep doing it again. I'm seeing repeat, repeat, repeating. There you are, the higher font. <laughs> Flipping all which ways. Yeah, I feel like you are all over the place. And the lovers. It's like you're so, you may be, you know, see, it's like you're a Gemini this season. What's going on? You want to do this, then you want to do that. Then you want to do this, but then you want to do that. And then all I'm saying, you just don't want to do nothing. Just forget it. <laughs> what? I'm getting a lot of people attracted to you. Tell me more about this Ten of Swords because I really, it's like you're draining yourself or you're tiring yourself. What's the Ace of Cups? I mean, I said, what's the Ace of Cups? Yeah, the Eight of Swords, exactly. This is self-induced. I feel like you may get very tired this season, um, Taurus. Dang, this thing was still burning. I hope that wasn't too smoky for you guys. You gotta get a new sage stick. Okay. But what is this about? The Ten of Swords, Eight of Swords? It's like something is brand new, so you're you're tying yourself out. This could be relationships, people, parties. I'm not really sure why, but there may be you may be throwing some type of event. Yeah, the Knight of Cups. I'm getting a lot of people wanting your attention this season, Taurus. So be careful that you don't, yeah, um, st stay balanced, okay? Stay balanced. Um, what does the Hermit, you know, Virgo season, what does the Hermit do when people want to be all up in the Hermit space? I don't know. <laughs> the King of Cups. Yeah, you may be getting a lot of love offers. Yeah, it's time for you to make sure you stay. Look at the hermit right there. Eight of Pentacles. See, Spirit is asking you to stay the course. All right. Stay focused. 
Bro, this sage will not stop burning. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm getting it. something about saging as well or like cleansing people's energies that come around you. All right, because I'm getting, um, or making, just making sure your own energy is cleansed. I feel like you're getting a lot of, you're so new. It's like a new pair of shoes or some type of energy is so new. And you're in this three energy. Maybe you want to look up the number three. Three also talks about Gemini energy, you know. Communicating with people, socializing. There were so many threes in this reading. You're so new. Everybody want to stick to you or something. It's like, I'm not really sure what that, what that could mean for you, but... There's definitely a lot of people in your surroundings and it's necessary for you to keep your energy cleansed, keep your energy pure, okay? This season, like a, where did the, oh, okay, 11, 11 on the clock. What's going on with Taurus this season? Let's look at the Clippers. What do they need to know right now? What's going on with my tours? Yo, the lovers. Gemini energy. I don't know why. I just saw 1133. And again with the doves. Doves talks about purity. It's like somebody here can see that you're pure or that you're... I don't know why I'm getting clean. What the fuck? Innocence. So somebody may see that you're innocent, like you're getting off trial or, you know, they just want to come back around you. Concern and distant horizon. Look at the number. Look at the number. Three, 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 six. Fifteen, this is another six. Nah, what's going on? Somebody may want to come visit you or want you to come visit them. Somebody who's distant, but it's like you're not really. Wow. I split the deck. We have sudden wealth and great fortune. I don't know why. You, okay, yeah. Um, okay, so my phone dies as I'm searching for the last card. And I said, what is the energy coming towards? I mean, what is the energy of the people that's coming towards you? And I got another three. Um, marriage. So these people want to marry you or they want to be committed with you in some type of way. So, yeah, I feel like um, there's a lot of people who want to come towards you this season, Taurus, or in September anyway, who feel the need to want to, like, commit to you. And I'm just getting, like, paths are crossing at the wrong time. Like, right now is the time when you're really focused on something else. And all of a sudden, these people just want to be, like, committed to you some type of way. So, let me go ahead and close out officially all right, let's see what cards I'm using to close out. Um, okay, I'm getting Thoth. So let's close out with these Thoth cards here. I'm sorry, not Thoth, Anubis, Anubis, Anubis. Close out this reading for my beautiful Taurus, please, guys. This is a general if you want personals. Um... So uh, you can email me for a personal reading. I do have readings coming out today if you're waiting for readings. So let's see. Well, wow, bast. Okay. So yeah, sensuality, sexuality, instinct, though. holy longing desire it's like somebody is longing for you or these people these individuals i feel like these could be um soulmates okay 
but they don't have to be romantic soulmates, but people who are attracting to you with that number 11. All right, but yeah, we have Bast here, really beautiful. So blessings. <laughs> One more. Ooh, and Hathar. Okay, so I'm getting cheers. Cheers to you. Yeah, reconciliation of opposites. Forgiveness and understanding. We also have um, Hathar magic. Hathar always reminds me of Taurus energy. She can be pictured sometimes as a cow or a bull, you know? But it says integration and medicine woman it's like you could even be you have one 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 four i don't know if you're manifesting these individuals or something but you're very magical and i feel like you know people are going to be just like coming towards you but yo seriously you're gonna have a lot of blessings coming towards you this could be this jupiter and taurus energy all right but jupiter is going um Jupiter is retrograding, I believe, in Taurus until like December, if I'm not mistaken. But it's so it's retrograde. Just give me um, one more card here. Yeah, we have um, the Page of Cups and the Nine of Swords. could be being a friend to someone as well yeah the knight of cups there you are man i feel like you know somebody wants to come towards you and clarify things talk about things but you are so determined and so focused on your own goals but somebody feels guilty <laughs> about something as well all right that's what i have for you taurus i love you guys so much and i'll see you in the next one bye